voice that keeps on calling me Down the road, that's where I'll always be Every stop I make, I make a new friend Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on So if you want to join me for a while Just grab your hat, we'll travel like that's old style Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on event will go against Big Bart in the special challenge competition for the $5,000 purse. How much are we going to win, Lester? Hang on a second. Give me a chance to figure it out. Folks are really going for those three-to-one odds we set against McLeod. Nothing like a hometown favorite. Coming to the end of his career. It's not enough. It's not enough. Our contestants, the reigning county champion lumberjack, Alistair McLeod. And runner-up from last year's championships, Ray Wicklum. His age and experience against you. In the toughest event of them all, the tree scaling competition. On the starting signal, it's up the tree and ring the bell. The first man back down is the winner. Thanks, Ray. Told you it'd work. Did, did, did he get hurt? Nah, but he won't climb for a while. Looks like he's okay, folks. Let's have a big hand for a big lumberjack, Mr. Alistair McLeod. What happened? What happened? Harness snapped. That's what happened. Mr. Ray Wicklam wins the tree scaling by default. He moves on to the championships, which will be held at 2 p.m. this afternoon. Come on, collect the bets, will you? Black gold, buddy. Guess you're about ready for pasture. Not with nickel and dime pool sharks like you in the back 40, old buddy. 
<laughs> Bad loser. Hey! Hey, fella, what are you doing with my harness? I don't need this anymore. All right. All right, I'll take it. Good fella. There's me something. Yeah, it sure is. Hey, I'm not a cripple. At least let the plaster dry. I should have checked this leg harness. I knew it was old, but I would have thought it Dad, would... Dad, it happens. I've seen those spikes get fatigued and snap all the time. I've had two go in a week. It wasn't a spike, it was a leather leg strap. I won't fall. Dad? While you were getting fixed up, I uh, made a couple of phone calls. Yeah? Well, they seem pretty interested in me entering the finals this afternoon. Who's they? Well, uh, spoke with Bart and then with uh, Ray Wickland. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're telling me you want to fill the old man's boots, is that it? Hey? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Well, it's about time. It's about time. Yes, your mother. Your mother would have been proud. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes sir. 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 Mr. Kaufman, good news. Everything's fine. I've got your money. Looks like a good 3,000. I know there's another two to cover, but... but what, what do you mean a grand interest? Look, Kaufman, you gotta give me more time. <laughs> And I, I can't handle that kind of interest. Well, couldn't you... Yeah. Y yeah, I, I understand. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'll get it. I'll get it. What's the matter, Liz? We did all right, didn't we? Not good enough. We've got to do it again. I, I can't get near Big Bart's gear. And nobody's going to bet on Wicklam anyhow. Well, we got to think of something. I'll meet you at the fairground. You go on and get your gear ready. You don't want me to wait for you? Nope. I got a little matter to take up with Lester Stafford here. I'll walk over. Anyway, it looks like I'm going to have company. See you, son. Something I can do for you, McLeod? You can take this $200 bet I want to make. Just some kind of joke? Only on you, Lester. Only on you. And tell that flunky of yours to mark it down. There'll be a McLeod in the competition this afternoon. Barry? <laughs> Your kid? <laughs> Why not? Got three years at forestry school, four summers at loggers camp. He may not be the fastest climber in the world, but then I hear Bart's lost a lot of speed, too. If he's so good, why didn't he enter with the in rest In the first of... place? Because I wanted one last shot at it, old fool that I am. Well, do we have a bet or not, old buddy? I 
think it's a fine idea. What do you think, Lester? this stuff would do to harness leather. Oh, no, no, wait a minute, McLeod. It's not what you think. I can explain. Don't explain, Lester. I just smelt a rat. gotta do is hype our hometown boy, set some long odds, and the betting will swing against Bart. Alistair McLeod, 20 years younger, perfect. All I gotta do is switch McLeod's equipment for your old gear. We'll make ourselves a quick killing. Yeah, we better make enough to leave town. After I pay the loan sharks. I'll take care of the kid, you take care of the dead. Yeah, I think I can handle her. Are you fair man to man? You 
some heavy hours. Chopping, axe throwing, log burling, and the tree climb. It's all your sucker. May the best man win. size is too big. And after a short breather for Big Bart, it'll be between him and Barry McLeod. This might do the trick. I saw Dad do this once. And now... McLeod and Thompson in the log roll. Hey, fella. Now what have you got? Barry's boots. Good boy. And they're off. Thompson has a win, a loss, and a tie. Oh. Barry McLeod has a win, a loss, and a tie. Oh. Ray Wicklum has three losses. So the championship will be decided between McLeod and Thompson in just a moment. Let's have a big hand for a big competitor, Mr. Ray Wicklum. Ladies and gentlemen, folks, I'm sorry to interrupt this event at this time. I know a lot of you 
have money riding on my son here, hard-earned dollars that you don't want to lose. Dollars you put in the pocket of Lester Stafford there, who's going to have to satisfy my curiosity about why this leg harness, which is about six sizes too big, along with some old boots and a dull axe, were in Barry's pack. Now, I'm not saying that Lester's trying to cheat you by making Barry lose, but then again, I'm not saying he's not either. Now, why don't you just ask him for yourself? Folks, folks, now that we have Barry's gear back that they stole, we're going to have a tree climb. Thanks to you, boy. Thanks to you. Contestants ready? One, two, go! pay off all bets now, but don't take too long, old buddy, because the police are on their way to do a little collecting of their own. Yeah. Yeah. Well, son, I guess the prize money will more than see you through your last year's school. Yeah, and we'll buy you a new set of harnesses. Oh, no, I don't think so, Barry. I think I'll leave the competing to you from now on. Now, before you spend all the prize money, you better save enough to buy a big, fat steak for our friend. Hey, boy. Aren't you going to stay for the celebration? Uh, Dad, what exactly did he do? Come on, I'll tell you all about it. But five will get you ten. You won't believe it. Until tomorrow, the whole world is my home. 